I rather annoyingly managed to drop my lens on the floor a couple of weeks back. This is the Canon EF 70 to 200 mil. It's the F4 version, so not the F2.8. I bought this lens in Australia in 2009, I think, so that makes it about 12 years old. It cost me a thousand bucks at the time. It has been my go to lens. I do actually really like it. But unfortunately, hopefully, you can see there where I dropped it, it landed on the bayonet end and bent the bayonet bracket. I have tried to modify it with a screwdriver, but clearly it's broken now. But given the age of the lens, um, I don't really want to give up on it, but it's not worth spending a lot of money to get it professionally repaired. So instead I went online, went onto eBay, and I managed to track down a replacement bayonet coupling for this lens from a company located in China. I think it cost me about 20 quid. I ordered it two weeks ago, I think, and it arrived this morning, so that's pretty damn good. Before I go any further, let's just throw in a couple of disclaimers. I am not a professional camera repair person. Frankly, I've got nothing to lose by having to go at repairing this myself. So unless you're in the same position, I do not advise that you start pulling your expensive bits of kit apart just off the back of this video. That aside, let's get on and let's see what was delivered from China. <laughs> This was in some outer wrapping as well. This was the contents of the postal bag. So as we can see, it's purely the bayonet ring adapter, nothing else, no screws, no other parts whatsoever. I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna focus on this, but we'll give it a go. So just a quick visual check and the screw holes do seem to line up. Just for awareness, I've already carried out a dry run on removing the existing bayonet, but we'll run through that process now. Attaching the bayonet ring to the lens body itself, there are four very small screws. And then, as well as that, there are two even smaller screws holding the hot shoe arrangement onto the lens. The hot shoe is actually fixed to the bayonet ring itself. One screw there, and the other screw there. To remove the bayonet, we just need to remove those four screws and then the bayonet and the hot shoe will come off together. You do not want to be dropping these screws on the floor. Certainly not the two holding on the hot shoe. I'll remove the two hot shoe screws now. One screw there. Bring the other screw there. There we go. Okay, with the screws removed, the bayonet will come off. You might need a little bit of help. There we go. So hopefully we can see the bayonet ring has dropped off. And then we have a plastic ring here, the black plastic ring and the hot shoe, they are in fact separate. And to remove the plastic ring, it just needs to be pushed out this way. So we have the old bayonet fitting adapter. We have the plastic ring and we have the hot shoe which is wired into the circuit board, buried down there in the lens body. So again, another quick visual check. As would be expected, reassembly is just a reverse of the process we've taken for stripping it down. It is a very fiddly job though. 
I'm sure there are many ways of doing this, but the way I do it is first I refit the hot shoe. That's one screw started. Let's get the other one in place. Let's get back in the center of the camera. Hopefully I'm not playing too much havoc with the autofocus. He's gone in nicely. Okay, you wouldn't have seen it, but it's taken me about 10 minutes to get those two screws in. Let's just nip them up, not too tight just yet. Now I need to get the black plastic ring in place. Of course, this needs to be lined up around the hot shoe. So just to explain, there are four little black tabs which look incredibly delicate. All the time being very mindful of those wires running off to the circuit board. I doubt they've seen this much movement ever. There we go, it's gone into place, good. Okay, I've already given the inner lens a clean, so I'm now going to refit the bayonet. So I've just checked the positioning and the largest contact on the hot shoe was aligned to this number, small number printed on the lens body. So that puts the bayonet position where it is at the moment. And we can see, hopefully, the four screw holes lining up. So we'll just drop that into place. I didn't show it on the video, but I did actually use a vernier gauge to check the diameter of the new bayonet against the old one, and they're both the same. I think 64.8 millimetres. There we go, it's clicked into place. Nope. Let's get the screws in to start, and then we know it's lined up. So the four screws are in place. Let me see if I can nip that up. See the dirt on the inside of the plastic ring there. I'm not sure that's located properly in the recess. And I'm tightening the screws opposite side opposite side okay they're all nice and tight just give the hot shoe a quick wipe we should be good to go let me stick it in the camera and see how it performs one final job to do before i remount the lens that is just to check the tightness of the two screws holding the hot shoe in place. I did only nip them up when I was assembling the lens earlier. I'm being careful not to over tighten them. I'm sure they'll strip very easily. Anyway, let's remount the lens. Perfect. So we should be good to go. To finish off the video, I'll take a couple of pictures, one at each extremity of the zoom, and we'll see how the results compare just to check the autofocus is still working. Thanks for watching.